Good morning, Oak Park School. Today is Thursday, January 12th, 2023. Our special student guest for this morning is Talon. At this time, would you please stand and face the flag for the Pledge of Allegiance? Okay, press the button. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Would you please remain standing for our Panther Pledge? Okay, press the button. Today, I will be respectful, on task, accepting, and responsible. I am an Oak Park Panther. Hear me roar! You may be seated. Thanks for helping out this morning. We will now take some time to pause for a moment of silence. Use this time for your own personal thoughts, prayers, or quiet reflections. It's Thursday, so let's see what the Literacy Lab has for us today. Good morning, friends, and welcome to the Literacy Lab. I'm Patty Manson. I'm Brandy Flea. And I'm Kato here. And, and we're, we're your reading, reading interventionists. interventionists. Happy New Year, friends, and welcome to 2023. This week, our student guest interviewers will be on campus talking with staff and students. We're going to be asking everyone about the books and podcasts they enjoyed over the break. Speaking of, Brandy, what did you enjoy reading over the break? Well, I read a book called The Girl from Berlin, and it's about an anonymous, or it's an anonymous writer, and it talks about the events that happen in Berlin. So you can, as you can imagine, there's some scary moments and some really interesting things that she writes about. So I read that, and then I also listened to a few podcasts. Well, that's a lot to get in there, and I like the idea of the anonymous author. I Do know. you ever, is it yes. ever uncovered? It is never uncovered. I didn't even know you could to this publish day. anonymously. That's yes. very cool. Mm -hmm. Kate, what did you read? So I read a couple of books, but one that I really liked was a book called Pax, which is a middle reader, so kids here might enjoy reading it. It's a chapter book, and it's about a boy and a fox and how they get separated and how they make their way back to each other. And each chapter tells the point of view of uh, either the boy or the fox. So we're always seeing the story from two different points of view. That's mm -hmm. And it's, it's a very touching story. And I like how they present that from different points of view of the I characters, agree. you know, yeah. a little unusual. Each person has their that. own view. I think yeah. our kids might enjoy that. Yeah. yeah, I think so too. How about you, Patty? What did you read? Actually, I'm reading a book that you gave me. Bill Bryson's <laughs> A Short History of Everything. I just love it. And that's mine next. Yeah. So I've just finished The Cosmos, and now we're into the discovery of fossils and um, all things ancient artifacts. So Ooh. I'm enjoying that. Yeah, that's so it's right up your alley. Good. So friends, stay tuned to find out what other friends have been reading about or listening to over our winter break. You might find and share some of your good reads. I am always looking for something new to read. We are. Well, thank you and bye friends and we'll see you next time in the lab. Bye. Bye. Let's close things out with our Throwback Thursday, a time where we highlight a famous event that happened on this date in history. On this day in 1968, Led Zeppelin released their first album entitled Led Zeppelin. The album had several hits and for its time was a cutting edge sound for a British band. Since then, they released many albums with many hit songs. We hope you have a great day, Panthers, and like always, continue to roar! Thank <laughs> you.